Hey guys, it's Daphne here at Peak Fitness to bring you guys another trainer's tip of the day. So today we're gonna to look at the kettlebell swing. We do this a lot in our fit classes, but you can watch this video and you can add it to your own exercise routine outside of that. So, for this exercise, you need to start with a kettlebell. If you're not familiar with it, start with one that's a little bit lighter, just to get used to the movement before you start going heavier, because they can get quite big. So, for this exercise, you wanna stand with the kettlebell a few feet ahead of you, you want your feet to be about shoulder width apart. So from here, this is all about the hinge and the hips. We're gonna talk about that first actually, because this is a kettlebell swing is all about the hip hinge, that motion. We wanna look at our posterior chain. So this is all coming from the hips and the glutes. This is not meant to be a workout for your knees or to put strain into your back. So it's different than a squat, it's different than a pull and a push. This is a focus. All in the hips, hip hinge. So for this one, feet apart. Start by reaching forward, and then you're gonna pull the kettlebell back higher than your knees, and then you're gonna start thrusting forward. So reach ahead, pull back, push forward. So keep the kettlebell nice and close above your knees, thrusting your hips forward. So the work is all coming from your hips, and your glutes, bending forward, thrusting forward. So with this exercise, what you wanna watch for is that you're not lifting with your arms. Your arms should just swing naturally. The kettlebell should become relatively weightless as you push forward, driving forward with your hips. Don't raise the bar, or sorry, don't raise your arms higher than your head or mostly higher than your chest. So just keeping your kettlebell chest height and back down. So with this one, keep your chin neutral so your head follows your movement so you're not craning your neck and you're driving forward with your hips. So another thing to remember is for your shoulders, you wanna keep those back and down so we don't round out and end up rounding our spine. So posture is key for this one. So again, hinging forward, pulling in and thrusting ahead. Back and forth, hinge at the hips and forward. And that's our kettlebell swing. So if you'd like, to, um, if you want a hand with one of the trainers to kind of watch your posture and walk you through it, by all means, come and get myself or any one of the staff. And as always, stay active.